Abacus Auctions, sale th uh, th 232, um, lot number 402, 1950s to 90s tourist covers. Uh, this can be a very uh, attractive collecting uh, field without costing much at all. And there's uh, 140 or more covers in this slot. And, uh, you know, even official types from Queensland, of which there are quite a number available. Northern Territory produced quite a lot. And then you get this type of thing where they would use the one picture and put greetings from and a number of different names on them. That's nice. Yes, here's, here's a good example. Same picture, greetings from Cooktown, greetings from Maryborough. They put Queensland on that, I imagine, because there's a Maryborough in Victoria. Greetings from Tidal River. And it's got a Tidal River date stamp, which is very scarce, but unfortunately not very good. Finley, New South Wales, it's a more unusual one. Yes, there's another one of the, that design. Portland, Victoria this time. So as you can see, it, visually it's a very attractive subject. And uh, some of them have a secondary picture on the flap. Our hospital needs your help. Get sick if you're crook, come to cook. And address to a doctor. <laughs> Woomera. With a little rocket. And of course you get different usages. To and thruppence airmail to Germany. One unfortunately is badly damaged. Harvey Bay with the, the island there. Going to Finland. Heron Island, Great Barrier Reef, and it's from Heron Island. Again, the date stamp's no good. This one's from the Gold Coast with the Queensland Relief CDS. There's all sorts of elements to this, the, the usage, the... Uh, destination uh, Holland and sometimes you can tell from the writing that the person is from uh, another country that's a typically European hand so they're using the envelope for the intended purpose and sending it home to friends or family it's a rather more elaborate one Nineteen eighty two Commonwealth Games. I think the majority of these things do come from Queensland. They seem to have got onto the idea before anybody else and promoted it heavily. It's a nice one for Sovereign Hill up at Ballarat. Sunday Wonderland. Lightning Ridge, home of the Black Opal. Nice one from Tasmania. to Renmark in Riverland, South Australia, Orange Week Festival. Of course, another element of these, uh, uh, this type of thing is the back to covers, which were very popular in the 1930s, um, advertising for people who used to live in a town to return on a particular day for a festival. It doesn't seem to be promoted very much these days, but it was certainly a big postal thing back in that time. Missionary Childhood. There you go. We've even got a Cinderella there. There's a little bit of duplication, but not much. Yeah, nice lot. <laughs> 